Hello, this is Dan Fashionbauer from Video Pizzazz. And today I'm going to show you how to set up and create a Tulio telephone number that can be used for your YouTube and Google verification. And one telephone number from Twilio should allow you to have two YouTube channel verifications used on it. All right, so let's log into Twilio. Click on login. Put in the uh, email address that you used when you signed up with Twilio, and then put in your Twilio password. Click on login. All right, so currently Twilio is in a transition period here. Um, they have me set up to use the uh, console beta. So in order to create a new telephone number, I'll come down here and I'll click on this pound sign here, phone numbers. And then you can click on buy a number here or buy a number here. Doesn't really matter which one you use. I'll click on buy a number. Now today I want to get a number for um, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So I can use this pull down here and I can click on a location. And I'll just paste in here, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And capabilities, I want it to have voice, SMS, and MMS. And click on search. And these are the phone numbers that come up for Milwaukee right now that are available. And you'll see that they're $1 a month to use. The fees will be more than a dollar a month if you use it to call a lot. But I'm only using this for uh, YouTube verification, so I'll only be making a couple calls of this telephone number. And if you don't like any of these numbers, you can always come down here and click on refresh results if you'd like. But let's say I'm going to pick this number here. So I'll just come over here and click on buy. And it says that it has voice, SMS, and MNS capabilities. Click on buy this number. Okay, it says you have purchased that number. Now what you want to do is forward that number to your personal telephone number, whether it be your house phone or your cell phone. So you will get the YouTube verification call forwarded to your personal number with the key that, or the code that you can enter in and verify your channel. So you'll click on set up number and we'll need to put in a, when a call comes in, we'll put in a forwarded URL here. But in order to do that, we need to create something called a Twimlet, which is some code that will forward our call for us. So we'll open up a new tab. So we'll go to this URL here, twilio.com slash labs slash Twimlets slash forward. All right, so this is a subsidiary of Twilio that allows you to create special features and they call them Twimlets. And this Twilio lab software will allow you to create those Twimlets. So here's the Twimlet setup for forwarding. So here's all the different parameters that you can enter and you'll notice that uh, a 10 digit phone number is required. The rest of these, no, so they're, these are all optional. Here's some more examples. So I am going to come down here and fill out this form. Okay, so I entered in the phone number that I want the call to be forwarded to which is my personal number. And then the caller ID, that'll be what the caller will see when they call in. And then the timeout is how many rings or how long the phone will ring before it hangs up. I'm gonna say 60 seconds. 
and then you can have it so that there's only certain collars that are allowed but I'm not going to mess with that I'm going to leave those all blank and then a fail URL so if after the 60 seconds you could have a URL that acts as if an answer machine so you could create an audio file upload it to a website and have a URL to that and put that URL in here and then after the 60 seconds they'll get played that audio message as an answer machine. Now as you're changing this Twimlet configuration setup up here, the resulting URL down here is updating on the fly to give you the, your new syntax. So once you're happy with what you have, you can just copy that URL Go back over to your Twilio configuration setup. Go down here to the voice section and make sure that it says webhooks slash twimml. And then I'm going to change the size of this. And then here where it says a call comes in, we're going to paste that URL there. We're not going to do anything with the text messaging service right now because that doesn't work very well with YouTube. And then we'll just click on save. And then you can change here a friendly name. See for friendly name, I'm going to change this so it makes more sense. We call it YouTube verification for a car accident lawyer in Milwaukee and Madison for those two YouTube channels that I'm going to be creating. And I'll click on save. It says here you have successfully updated your phone number. So now if we go back here and click on the pound sign, which is phone numbers again. And if I scroll down here, I'll see one here from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is the one I created. It says YouTube verification for car accident lawyer, Milwaukee and Madison. So the voice URL is pointing to that URL of that Twimlet that we just created. So now when I use this number in my YouTube verification process, it'll get forwarded to my home phone number and I can validate that YouTube channel. All right, so I hope you found that useful and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.